Hey everybody, welcome to ITS Season 15, The New Order Battle Report. I'm back with Colin. Hey everybody. For your second ever game of Infinity. Yes. <laughs> this is exciting. So yes, you're playing Corregidor. I sure am. I'm playing the operation subsection of the SSS, and because this is your second ever game, we're gonna play Supplies. Yes. Supplies is a classic ITS mission. It's great to learn on. Three objectives across the middle of the board. And we're playing it at a 200 point level. Yeah. Which is something That's I don't very cool. often do. It's more of a skirmish. Yeah, so it's on a three by four board instead of a four by four board. We'll show you the armies, we'll show you the mission at the table, and we'll get this underway. All right, so here is Colin's 200 points of Corregidor. Who we got? We got one combat group, it looks like. Yeah, so uh, starting off with an evader up front. Uh, he's got a multi-rifle uh, with and a Panzerfaust. Sweet. Uh, we got uh, three Alvacils with uh, the white, orange, and blue hair there. Yep. He's got the combi rifles. Okay. We got Jazz and Billy on the right. Uh, in the middle, we have a Hellcat. Uh, she's going to be a paramedic for this game. We got an uh, Invader. Uh, he's got a heavy machine gun. The Intruder? Oh, the Intruder. Yes, yeah. So technically, you don't need to show me him because he has closed information as he has the camouflage and hiding skill. Gotcha. The Sombra, who has, oh no, is that a Hellcat? No, that's the Sombra. That's the Sombra. Sombra. In yeah, the middle okay. is the Hellcat. So the Hellcat also, because they use airborne deployment, they are not open information. So okay. I would not know who they are and how they work. Fair enough. For the course of the game. Okay. And then uh, in the back, we got the Sombra. And uh, she is... Also camo? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I have no her set up as a okay. hacker with the multi-rifle there. Does she have parachutist or combat jump? No. She's infiltrator. Yeah. Got it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you're good. So that's, that's it. We Oh, no, that's right. Um, if she's a killer hacker, she could become a impersonation token yeah. with Cyber Mask. Yes. So there it is. Uh, open information will be seven models overall. Jazz and Billy, the intro, the uh, evader. Is he uh, any kind of specialist? Uh, he's an engineer. Engineer, that's right. So there we go. Engineer intruder, or evader, sorry. Three Agua Seals and a Sombra. So here's my 300 points, sorry, 200 points. I'm going to get that confused all game. Um, of OSSS. So we have uh, in the front here, a Daikini group with two Divas. We have a Diva Hacker um, and a Diva MSV2 Spitfire. We have a HMG Daikini, a Sniper Daikini, and a Paramedic Daikini. So the full five-man core team potentially, if we want. Um, then we also have a Lamed uh, Remote, which is the Flash Pulse bot, a ProBot Baggage bot, which is just the eight-point order that can reload things if we want. And we have an Asura, uh, who is the killer hacker uh, sorry, the Hacking Device Plus um, Asura. On top of that, with MSV3. And then on top of that, we have a Warcore in the back there, who is a currently dead in the background character, who is now just going to be my Warcore and sometimes a REM driver. Uh, so it is 200 points of OSSS. All right, and we are set up for supplies. Now, this mission is going to be um, slightly different than I described actually in the intro, because I just realized that the, uh, the, the scoring is slightly different. It's uh, secure a supply box in the game for two. Um, so it's worth six if you have all three. Have more than your opponent for one, your opponent has none for one. Two classifieds, each worth one. I thought it was just one classified. Now we also get a Quaz creature in this one, or a Kaz creature, a quantum anomaly zone creature. <laughs> Think of them as like HP Lovecraft tentacles growing out of the ground. They're represented by either a model or a 25 mil marker. We're gonna use these little GMG 25 mil markers. They're placed just like an HVT, but eight inches outside your, um, your deployment zone. So basically 20 inches from the edge, okay. and then inside your half of the table when deployment's done. Right. We've each drawn our two classifieds, and we are using last season's classified deck because we don't have uh, the new one yet. So I've got my two, which I will show the camera so you can see what I'm trying to accomplish. And you may notice we're trying a different way of filming today because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm experimenting with all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna do the War Machine way this time around and see what you guys think. Uh, so with our classifieds now drawn, we will both roll for initiative and it is a whip check on your lieutenant's whip. Mm -hmm. My lieutenant's whip is 14. Okay, uh, 13 for me. And we're checking to, and it's whoever rolls higher but under. I got a nine. six to your nine, so yeah. you win. Okay. So you can choose either initiative or deployment. You can choose who goes first yep. or you can choose uh, who deploys first and which deployments on people are deploying in. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, uh, deployment, so you, choose, you deploy first. Okay, so I'm going to deploy first, and where? Uh, on your half of the table. Okay, cool. Uh, and then you will deploy second, but I will choose turn order. Yeah. So I'm going to choose to go first, I think, in this mission, and try and grab a bunch of buttons before you do. 
Um, so that's starting with deployment now. So we will deploy and I'll be back after our first round of deployments. My initial deployment's done. I've got a LeMed remote able to watch down here for this objective. Uh, I have a prone baggage bot. I have my war core watching this one over here. Um, and then I have my, uh, my fire team with the paramedic, the HMG, the D.Va Spitfire, the uh, sniper rifle, and then the D.Va hacker over here. And then last but not least, because I didn't put it down yet, is my HVT. It'll be 16 up and not on a piece of terrain. So I'm going to put it back here behind this. And then I believe my Kraz creature has to go down and has to be eight up, uh, which means along the middle line, basically. No, sorry, 20. So it's within four of the middle. Uh, it doesn't need line of fire. So it feels like here's real good. Uh, or over here if I want it to be even more annoying. So I do, so I want it to be there. Okay. And now it's over to you. So your initial All deployment, right. everybody except for one model, and you don't have to put down anything uh, that is in reserve like in airborne deployment. Uh, so first turn, your second level of deployment is done. Yep. Uh, so you've got a Billy yep. prone, mm -hmm. Aguasil prone, standing okay. Aguasil, standing Aguasil, and a evader. Mm -hmm a standing camel marker, a prone billy, and then you do have a reserve mini. My reserve mini is going to be this Asura, who is a horrifying monster of a killing piece. Um, and you should, you should, you'll find out why. <laughs> um, she's a very good fighter. She's heavy infantry. So she is a bit hacking prone, but because she's a hacking device plus with bonuses, uh, including Trinity. She can fight back against hackers and is very dangerous. Yes. Um, she can also cyber mask due to having a hacking device plus. Gotcha. So she's going to hang out, I think, over here. And then it's over to your reserve mini. Okay. And that was going to be a little camel marker. And oh, and you're sorry, your uh, quantum anomalies on creatures over here. Yeah. It's, it's ironically in between the two buildings where no one can actually see. So <laughs> neither of these cameras can see. So I'll point it out. It's right there. <laughs> Which means you've basically blocked both sides of these a little bit. Yeah, and then HVT is on this side as well. Yeah, and your HVT is over here next to this. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And this camel marker is going to stand up, go to here. Standing up. No, um, it's going to be prone. Over Smart. Here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <that was> sweet. <laughs> not, not not standing standing, in, standing in the standing, danger zone. Yeah, yeah understood. Uh, you're going to want to put a fire team marker on the fire team leader ah, at this yes. point for your fire team as your final act of deployment. Um, and you are ready for turn one as am I. So we are into strategic use of command tokens. Mm -hmm. So that means you get to pick right now what you would like to do as far as either putting someone on suppression if they're not in a fire team. Um, and they're not in a marker state, you could reduce my order pool by two, which would be very effective at this game size. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that to okay. try and uh, weather the first turn a little bit. Smart. All right, so then take your... So my, my order pool, by the way, just to do the order count, I have one irregular, which is going to be on um, Giant Mnemonic over here. And then I have five, six, seven, eight regulars, and I have two lieutenant orders. I am lieutenant level two on somebody. Okay. So as soon as you see one of those get spent, you'll know who it's on. So that means you, if you're stripping it down, I'll go from eight to six regular orders in group one. Okay. So I'll have six goes, but I still will have some lieutenant orders that allow me to do some extra things. So six pile. And one of the things I do as a best practice is I put my orders next to the models as they spend them. Gotcha. If it's an irregular, I put it when it's generated and I remove it when it's, when when it's used, yeah. exactly. Uh, it just means I can walk my turn back if I have to, and tra if I lose count of like where my orders are at, I'll, sure. I'll do it that way. Okay. Um, so to start off with, I'm going to spend a lieutenant order on my Asura, so you immediately oh. <laughs> know that my Asura is the lieutenant. Yep. And I am going to enter Cyber Mask okay. and become a marker, a marker state. So I'm going to be in an impersonation state. Yep. All it means is uh, you require a discover test to target her with anything like it's an attack. Right. You can also delay against her, but if she does a short movement after that, you don't get to make any discoveries on like that. So the delay is just if you think they're going to attack you, right. you delay and wait to see if they attack you. Yeah. If they just keep moving, though, they just go on by and you're like, well, I guess Granny was in a hurry. Yeah, there goes Phil. <laughs> That's an entire order, though, to do that, and therefore I will be done moving. Uh, then she is going to move. She's heavy infantry. I believe she moves 6'2", uh, but I'm going to double check that because I am a dirty cheater. She does move 6'2". So she's going to, being able to play Infinity with both hands, by the way, everyone watching, is a real <laughs> treat for me. So I'm in a world of two, 
for, I don't know if this is better for you guys, it is definitely better for me. <laughs> Six to here. Uh, and you may now declare any arrows you would like to declare against that model. Uh, no. Okay. Um, and so, sorry, that's my, my second lieutenant in order to do that. Uh, then I'm going to, I believe, move again and just move two to this wall. Okay. All right, so that is done. Um, I am then going to go with my Daikinis and I'm going to spend an order on them. Uh, I'm going to nominate the fire team lead as being the Daikini with a heavy machine gun because he does a lot of leading. Now they are also 6'2 because they're effective, or sorry, they're 6'4 because right. they're effectively remotes. Yes. Um, and he's going to walk through his friend two, four, and six to here. Everyone else is also going to start to dash. Now I believe the divas are 4'4, four, four, not 6'4. Right. Because they're real divas. Yeah, yeah, 4'4. Four, four. <laughs> uh, his paramedic buddy is just going to follow in behind him. Not going all the way because it was really just the maximum for him. I'm going to go six with the uh, uh, sniper rifle, rather. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to go six this way, though. I'm going to go two, four, six and come around this wall. The hacker is going to go and follow in behind. And then the Asura with the Spitfire is going to go two, four that way to here. Now I'll check my perimeter because uh, he is the fire team lead. Everyone's still with an eight of him, even though they're around a wall. So they're good to go, and you can declare any ARROs you would like to declare. Okay. Uh, don't think anyone can see anything that's happening? So the only thing they can see right now is the, the, the Quantum Anomaly Zone creature, yeah. but he doesn't get to ARROW outside of his zone of control anyway. So you can make a zone of control check to see if he can ARROW. Yeah. He cannot, because yeah. he's too far away. Yes. So he's just going to sit there and idle. Uh, and then I'm going to make him wish he'd never left the Quantum Zone. <laughs> is my plan. So I'm going to spend uh, my HMG shots yeah. on him. Okay. Now I have four uh, shots base because I have an HMG, yep. plus one burst for being in a large team, yep. uh, sorry, in a three-man team at least. And then I've also got my bonuses to hit for being in a, um, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a, uh, a, a pure fire team because I am in a pure fire team because everybody counts as a Daikini. So the question is, can they dodge? I think they can. Yeah. They have a fizz of 13. What are the common rules of a cause creature? Special skills CC attack and guard. They have a melee AP close combat weapon, only an ARO, and they can guard no line of fire. I don't think they can dodge. I think I just shoot oh, them. No. I think I just shoot the tentacles as they yeah. sit there. So uh, it's going to be on a, I believe, 11 base for those jabronis. Yep, so it's going to be 11. I'm inside 16, yep. so because I, I, I can. I'll, I will double check just to prove it, but like yeah. two, two of these sticks yeah. is 16, so I knew I was close enough. Um, and that means it's zero range for an HMG, okay. plus three for big team though. So I'm on 14s with five dice, so 14 or under. Uh, that's going to be one, two, three, four, and the 16 will miss. Yeah. So I believe the Quantum Anomaly Zone creatures are armor not terrible, they're armor one. Okay. Uh, so with damage 15, you need to beat a 15. Yeah. So you have to roll dice and add one, higher. or you can do it the new way, which is you reduce my damage to 14 and then try and roll right. draw higher, <laughs> but it's the same. Yeah. So just do it. Right. Do it this way. Uh, he is blown away. He is, he is back to the quantum anomaly zone. Yes. All right. Well, the tentacles have been driven back. Take that, son of Nergal. Uh, whatever, whatever, from Hellboy. Um, and that is my first regular order now spent. They are supremely in the wind. And so I think I need to set up a perimeter and keep moving with them. So I'm gonna give them another order. He'll maintain fire team lead. And I am going to move with him. He is going to go four and then two and get up on this building. I don't think I can see anybody right now. That's my second order in that group. My sniper is going to go Six to here. My diva is going to go four to there. Uh, my paramedic is going to go six straight ahead. And my Spitfire is going to go four straight ahead. Any AROs? Uh, none. No, yeah, looks like none. Looks like everybody's prone, yeah, that could see me at this point. So yep. I'm just going to move two more to the top of this. I'm going to move uh, two going prone with this diva. 
because I want to be out of line of fire. Everybody's staying within eight of this big guy. I'm going to move two with this paramedic. I'm going to move four with this other diva. All right, I'm going to give them another order. Yeah. They are going to move again. Uh, I am going to go six. Well, I'm going to go four technically, and then two over with this paramedic. Uh, sorry, I'm going to make him the fire team lead. Okay. This sniper is going to move six to this corner. I'm going to crawl two with him. I'm going to move four, I believe, with this Spitfire. And he's lead now. AROs. Uh, none to declare. All Which right. Is still prone. I am going to attempt to break open the hatch of the box with okay. my paramedic. Yeah. So he is whip 13. Yep. He gets an extra dice for being a paramedic because of the bonus mm -hmm. and plus three to his 13 whip. Nice. So he's going to be on a 16 with two dice. Yep. A two and a two will pass. Yeah. So this box is extracted. Okay. It's put on him. And that will end that action. Okay. Uh, third order, fourth order, sorry, in that group. We're now going to, I believe the term is turn down for what? <laughs> uh, and go six backwards. You do concern me with your ability to get into my backfield. Uh, so I'm going to go four. She's going to remain the, the fire team lead. I'm going to go four again. I'm going to go four with this diva. And the sniper's going to stay, I think, where he is. Now he's going to move back to this corner. Okay. And then everyone's going to move again. The hacker's going to look to here. Uh, he's going to move two around the corner, holding the box. Facing a different direction. The Spitfire is going to go four to this corner. The sniper is going to take up position there. And he'll be standing up. And I think I'm happy with where that fire team is right now. Everybody's kind of standing around. So I've got two regular orders left. I think we go with the Asura. The Asura is going to get a regular order. Uh, to go with the two lieutenants that they already got. And she is going to move to this corner and stay still. I think just being in cover because she can face every direction that way. And then the last order is going to go on this Lomed and they're just going to spin around a little bit as well just in case people decide to get cheeky and show up behind me. My uh, war core for the record has a 360 visor and so can see in every direction already. Yep. And that will end my turn one. Okay. And so it is on to turn one nomads. Oh, I always kill a crash creature, but I got a box. <laughs> so all of these orders come off. Oh, I have an irregular order. He's just gonna, he's gonna just be a, be a dude. Just stand there. He's fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's living his best life. Totally. I could spend a command token to make that into a regular order and give it to somebody, but I'm not super concerned about it right now. I've done, I've done what I wanted to do this turn. Yes. All right, over to you. Okay. So generate your order pool first. All right, How so many models do you have that are on table? Yeah. So we got uh, eight on table. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, uh, seven. Seven on table, table. okay. Seven on table. Yep. Oh, no, I could miss Billy. It is eight. Okay, it is it eight. Is yeah, because there's five over there that I can see. Yeah. Two cow markers and a jazz is yeah. eight. Yeah. Right, so we got eight plus the lieutenant. We don't know who that is yet. Could be anybody, even a ghost. Just Place them where you want. Make a fizz check. Yep. Uh, I believe you have a fizz bonus for being a Hellcat because yes. Hellcats are great. Yep. And then if you pass it, you are exactly where you are, but it is a long skill and you trigger arrows as normal. Yes. So typically you want to place them somewhere where you can't see them. Now you can also arrive as a parachutist, mm -hmm. which means any short non-deployment edge, you can yep. just be placed on without doing any kind of roll. You just walk onto the board. Right. They do it with their own order, not an order from your order pool when you choose to arrive. 
So they're great at lateral deployment. If you have the deployment parachute skill, it means you can just walk on any edge. <laughs> yeah. There's a few models like, uh, um, uh, what's his name, Van Zant, and uh, not McMurrow, uh, the other guys, uh, Akeet Mirage 5, who mm -hmm. will show up and do that. Okay. Duroc and Margo. Great. And uh, uh, Raziats, mm -hmm. which is a Morat diplomatic yeah. corps. They're there for diplomacy reasons. Yeah. Which is to kill all of your leaders yeah, and, and, and decide what the diplomacy <laughs> is. Uh, aggressive negotiations, I yes. believe Anakin called it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, get in the think tank and we'll pause for a second while you do so. Okay. All right, start of your turn. So I'm going to throw an order down on the fire team lead. The evader is going to be the leader for it. Sounds good. All right. and so he's going to start with his first go, and he's got move 4-4. Four, four. Let's do so it. Let's uh, get him out there, and then moving up to this corner wall here. So you're just moving four to start, then four we generate, we check for ROs. Yep. That's okay. Uh, I don't think I had any, because I don't think anyone can see that. Now remember, this will ARO if you get within eight in it, even if it doesn't have line of fire. Yes. Right, so worth noting, you want to shoot it probably before you get too close to it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm good for that first order, yep. yep. And then he's gonna just force up second, he's just gonna move up to that corner. Okay, we're gonna check perimeter on this. It is just out, so you are safe. Okay. And then for... Oh, everyone does the, their order first. Everybody Sorry, that was part of a fire team order. Everybody does their first skill, then right. everyone does their second, second skill. skill. Yeah, gotcha. so the rest of these guys need to do their first skills right okay. now. So then this one is just going to move straight forward for a bit. That's okay. That will not be the last time you do that. <laughs> In fact, I would just take it down now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just going to move up into there. Sure. Uh, checking for AROs. Okay. See him. Uh, his buddy is going to move up right behind him, facing the other direction. Okay. And uh, she's going to stand up. Okay. And just hop off the wall here. She cannot do that. That is a separate order called a climb. Okay. And that is going to put her out of coherency of the evader. Okay. So if she goes the other direction. So you may want to consider, the, well, sorry, the evader would be here at the start of right. the order. So you move back, move back four because you only move four to start with. Yes. So she could probably still move laterally, but you cannot make a climb order because you all have to do the same combination of skills. Gotcha. So you can go four down and be just next to Billy. Yep. Now she can hop off at this point because it's lower than her silhouette. Right. So it's useful to have one of your silhouette counters next to you because mm -hmm. you'll be able to measure where she can just hurdle over something. Yeah. And she can also walk over, I have a nice Agua Seal one for you here. Oh, nice. She can also walk over anything that is shorter silhouette than her. So because he's size one and she's size two, she can just step right over him. Right. So that'll be second skill then. She can just hop straight down for an inch and then yep. three inches this way, yep. which will hopefully keep her in coherency. There you go. And then he's going to make sure that Evader doesn't end his move. He wants to go straight ahead probably and yeah. not, not end his move in the wrong... Keep the coherency there. Yeah, in the wrong spot so you don't lose coherency. Now, the rest of those guys could dip into the building. Yep. And actually, uh, this guy, I think he can see the edge of the base of Tentacle Monster there. Okay. So... Uh, he's actually... Well, you had to have the same order, and remember, only oh. the fire team lead can make attack tag orders. Gotcha. Okay. Everyone can do the same short movement label orders. Right. So you can all just move again to make sure you have coherency for the next yeah. order, and then someone could shoot him afterwards. Gotcha. Right. So he's going to go into there. Not getting with an eight of it, I hope. Hopefully, I don't think... Yeah, yeah no, you're good. Yeah, you're fine. And then this guy is going to move forward to follow him up inside the building. Perfect. And the evader's already moved again, and so has that other Aqua Seal. So you're good to go for Double perimeter. Three. Yep, and you're on to your next order. Okay. Uh, and so now, uh, they're going to go again. I'm going to make the guy with the white hair in the front. He's going to be the leader this time. Yeah, Double May Cry. Dante. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Dante it up. Yep, absolutely. Got it. Sweet. He's going to go. And so he said, you said the fire team leader can make the attack orders? Well, they all do the same combination of skills. If you gotcha. want to move first, great. Yep. And then you could shoot the... Uh, QAZ creature, and you can shoot anything along your movement path, start or gotcha. end. So okay. you could end out a line of fire of that thing, but mm -hmm. still shoot it because you start in line of fire of it. Right. Okay, so then Just don't get with an eight or it'll, it'll shoot back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will send tentacles out to get you. So yes. you're only moving four so far. Yeah, so she's going to move up four to the wall. You got here. it. And everybody has to make their first short skills. Yeah. So she can move there. And then. I mean, honestly, you could probably make the evader the leader again and dip him in to see it because he can walk into the room and see it. Oh, I guess so, eh? 
if that's what you want, you don't have to. I'm just saying my advice, you have a better chance of hitting with him. With him, yeah. Uh, these guys are going to do their short orders to move up to the stairwell and get out of the way. Okay. And then the evader is going to... Walk into forward, the building. Walk yep. into the building. Cool. Get the lion's fire on the tentacle beast. And I think you're probably safe because you didn't move too close. Nope, nothing's out of control, so no guard. Okay. And then... Uh, Pass some shots. Get a shoot. All right, do it. So an evader I don't think has the Aguasil keyword, so I don't think you get the bonus to your BS. Yeah. But you do get the burst bonus for a four-man team and sixth sense. Okay. So you can just blast those QAZ creatures. So he's got a base burst of three with his multi-rifle? Yep, adds to four because you've got the extra dice from the fire team. Yeah. And looks like uh, you're pretty, in pretty comfortably within the 16. You are, so plus three. Plus three. So 11 goes to 14s. Uh, 13 goes to 16. Oh, because the evader, that's right, because yeah. we, we changed the evader. Yeah. 15, 13, 4, and 6. Yeah, yeah. he is uh, well and truly shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now you could have picked an ammo type for that because he has a multi rifle. Yeah, so I was just uh, the other one's burst one, so I wanted to go. With you don't want to do DA. Well, no, because uh, you have AP or shock oh, for I the see. other mode, gotcha. so you'd pick AP or shock. Doesn't super matter here because I'm not a, I'm not a trooper. Yeah. Um, but I don't roll any good numbers mostly. The 15, 16, 16, 19. Oh, that passes, but the 10 sure doesn't, so he's yeah. gonna die. Yeah. You drove. We've driven back whatever the Lovecraft <laughs> monsters were that were on this uh, frozen planet. Yes. So, so no Lovecraft monsters for us, and you have how many orders remaining in your pool? I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus a lieutenant. Perfect. And you're on to the next one. Okay. All right, uh, next one. I'm going to throw a third order onto this fire team. Sounds good. And they're uh, going to try and get out there and take that street. That's That makes the sense. Yeah. So this first... Agosil is going to move up. So don't forget, line of now you can at any point during the game put your finger on the board and say what can see this spot, because that's right. all open information. So think about this guy and her, okay. who can both see along this line. Yep. You're probably okay if you come to there, yeah, except think, for him. Yeah, I think four inches will get me just outside this door here. Yeah, which should be outside line of, line of fire. Yep. Now don't forget about hackers, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> so there could be the possibility of hacking. Yeah. And also this HMG can see, because he's standing up. Oh, yeah. As can this, this flash pulse. Okay. I think still coming outside the door there should still be pretty safe. Mm -hmm. pretty this safe. should be against the wall. I think we bumped oh, okay. it. Okay, yeah. So he's just going to pop outside the door. See, I think you'd be safe to touch it. Yeah. Especially if you crawled. Yeah. And second one is going to follow, staying with inside the door. Mm hmm. And the evader. Looks like he's just going to stand on the bottom of the staircase. Okay. So remember, a specialist, which is someone who can open that, is a paramedic, doctor, engineer, hacker, chain of command. Yeah. Uh, not, or a specialist trooper. Yeah. Uh, lieutenants do not qualify. Okay. Just so FYI, if you're, going, if you're planning on sending <laughs> someone for that purpose, they will not qualify as being a specialist. Luckily, the evader is an engineer. He sure is, yeah. Just double checking that the, the, the Dante over there wasn't the one trying to crack the button. <laughs> yeah. And the last Agaseal is going to hold up the rear, and she's just going to go in that door and turn around in case someone decides to come around the other side of that That bridge. tracks. Uh, so that's the first short skill. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have anyone in zone of control, so I won't be able to hack you. Mm -hmm. I can't see anybody just yet, so I think you are safe to do your second short skill. Okay. These guys can see around that corner there. Uh, do the boxes have any height? They're exactly what they look like. They're exactly what they yeah, look like. Yeah, so and because we're using physical models instead of tokens, tokens are just the base right. and don't block line of fire or provide cover, but because we're using physical objects, they are what they look like. Okay. Until they're extracted, in which case they just become tokens. Gotcha. Because you got the embryos. Yes. I'm the embryo DB. <laughs> uh, he is going to slide backwards along this wall. Okay. And the evader is going to pop stay, out of the... Just stay out of line of fire and yeah, stay come out of line of fire, pop out of the building. Yeah, because next order he could go and try and extract if he wants. Yep. And this egg seal is going to move for... Who's the fire team leader right now? Oh, uh, still, still the, the evader. Still the evader, still okay. The evader. Got it. Yeah, so spent the order. Uh, yeah. This is the bottom half of the third order. Yeah. Yeah, 
he's going to hop over the staircase for an inch. And then okay. three inches going, climbing up the staircase. Right, get on get on the high ground. Yep. Trying to get up there. And the last egg seal is going to pop up and cover the door where the other guy was last. Sounds good. All right. Fourth order? Fourth order. I'm going to spend it on this here camel marker. Okay. Uh, crawl is a short? Or uh, crawl is half your first move. Crawl is half your first and move. And then if you're still crawling, half your second move. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. And she, so yeah, she's going to crawl over two. Okay. Staying prone. Yep. And continuing to stay prone as she crawls Second short skill. Yeah, I can't see anybody. You also have stealth and are in a camel state right now, so I can't react to you, even if you do her. And last one is fourth. Uh, next one is going to be a fourth order on the fire team. Okay. Evader is just going to crawl up. to <laughs> just going to scoot so along go, the go prone and base. crawl. Yep. Okay. I don't think I can see with anyone then. No, you should be completely fine. Okay. Because you're prone. And this guy is going to move forward. Uh, I guess you could probably see pop, pop the stairs there. Right? Uh, sorry, stairs are solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that's your well solid. So then four, he's just going to go, so he's not quite at the cusp of the stairs yet. Sounds good. Keep his head below it. Yes. Uh, from the angle, even if your head was above it, I wouldn't be able to see it, because nothing's higher than that railing. Yeah, fair. So you'd be able to see him. Okay. And last egg of seal is, uh, this one is going to pop out. Okay. Staying there. Come on, that way I will see you. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah, you gotta stay along that wall to be safe. <laughs> I think, yeah, he's just gonna hold. He's just gonna hang out there. Alrighty. Okay, and uh, second, everyone else is, uh, the other three are just gonna think about their life while the engineer tries to crack open the birthing <laughs> Sounds good, all right. So <laughs> it's your whip, now your engineer, so no bonuses. One dice, uh, you're either 13 or 14, 13. I believe. All right, let's see it. Three will do it. All right, so that is now extracted, which means it belongs to you, and the base goes away. Okay. And you've got three orders remaining, plus lieutenant order. Remember, you do not have to spend lieutenant order yeah. if you want to. Okay, I'm going to spend another order on this camel marker here. Okay. And first one is going to be crawling up to this here corner. Sounds good. And I'm going to check perimeter mm -hmm. with uh, my impersonation marker. Nope, not in range. And second skill because staying prone. Okay. Or, yeah, so second skill is staying prone is just going to hang out there. Okay. And then second to last order is going to be to stand up. Sure. And then... So you're trying to fight me one at a time, I assume, right? Yes. My, my recommendation would be to crawl to here first. Okay. Then stand up if you just want to see him gotcha. and not them, not them. Because then you'll have this in the way of everything, but gotcha. you'll be able to see over this with your head to him. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's what... Yeah. So, so, so new order now. You'll stand up. Stand up. Right? I will delay. Yep. Yeah. And reveal... And then, uh, yeah, Sombra is going to be here. And okay. And going to shoot at your heavy machine gunner. Sounds great. My heavy machine gunner will shoot back. Now, do you have the surprise attack skill? She sure does. All right, so surprise attack minus three, I assume. It is. Now, bad the, bad, the bad news for you is I have six cents by virtue of being in a fire team. Yeah. So because I have six cents, that means I will cancel the surprise penalty. Okay. But I will still suffer the penalties for cover and your mimetism minus three. Okay. Um, now, I'm at zero range, I believe, because I think we're still inside 16, and I'm shooting back with my HMG. We are inside 16, so we're pluses for you, uh, zeros for me. Okay, I get plus three for being within 16. You do? And, uh, yeah. But I, you are also shooting into me in cover, so you're minus three, and I also have mimetism minus three. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm a sneaky robot. Gotcha. So you'll be minus six plus three, so minus three overall. Yep. And that gives you a BS of... Uh, nine, looks like. Nine. So you'll be on nines on three dice. I'll have two dice. I'm at zero minus six, but I'm plus three for being in a big fire team. Okay. 
So that means that I will also be on minus round one eights with two okay. dice. Uh, with the multi rifle, what's your guys' armor? My armor is zero. Okay. Because I'm all robot. Makes sense. Okay. There's, there's no crunchy on the outside. I'm just all squishy on the inside. Then it makes sense to uh, shock because the ammo. Okay, yeah. So I'm armor zero, BTS three. So I'm immune to shock because I'm a robot, though. I got no squishy insides. Um, you can still do it. Yeah. It. I mean, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. Yep. Yeah. So I'm on eights, you're on nines. All right. Uh, so I got a four. And I got nothing. Okay, well then I've hit you with a heavy machine gun. Yes. So it's damage 15. Okay. What is the armor of a Sombra? I believe it's three. pretty good. Yeah, three? three? All right, plus you're in cover for six. Yeah. So that means you're adding six to this roll, trying to beat a 15. Okay. So you basically need to roll 16s. Yeah. 17. There you go. Yeah, so she's uh, takes a bullet so you know, to the face so and doesn't you care. You need to roll 10s what you need to roll. 16s <laughs> because it's dice plus six. Yeah. Um, yeah, the old, the new and old ways of doing that blending together <laughs> kill me. Now, you did take a hit. Do you have the courage skill? Uh, she does not. All right, so that means you have to make a whip check or potentially go prone because you are scared of being shot. Makes sense. Thirteen. Five, so you're five, fine. So you can choose to stand there. Now, before you rolled, you could also choose to automatically fill it if you wanted to be prone at the end of the right. order. That's your choice. Uh, I got one more order, so I'm yep. going to stay standing there. Okay. Uh... You could go pro at the start of the order and still shoot me. Yep. Because you start seeing me yeah, if you want. So if you want to go back, if you just drop down, as you can still, as you're shooting, yeah, you yeah. dive for cover basically. And yeah. you can still move two as well. Yeah. Or if she moves six, you can move three. Okay. I think she moves six too, doesn't she? Isn't she like pseudo heavy infantry? Uh, she's, yeah, she's medium. Uh, oh, medium, she's, okay. Uh, four, four. Four, four. Yeah, so you yeah. can move two while you go prone yeah. if you want. If you want to get off those stairs. Yeah, she is going to. Spend that last order, and she's going to drop prone and uh, crawl up back up to the top of the stairs there. Smart. Be facing somewhere useful. Yep. yep. Right there. And while she's doing so, she's going to blast me. Shots All right. Too. So it's the exact same. It'd be yep. nines to eights. Right. Crit. You got, got a nine. nine. I did not get any. So okay. you hit me uh, with a critical hit. So that means two dice. Sure does. Uh, additional armor roll. It's damage 13 because it's a multi rifle. Yes. I'm armor zero plus three for cover. Okay. So I got to roll and I'd th uh, basically beat a damage of 10. So I got to roll yep. 11s. Okay. I roll a three and an eight. I am two levels of unconscious. Okay. So I become unconscious, but because I'm remote presence, yes. I have a secondary level of unconscious that yeah. keeps me on the board. Because you're a robot. I'm a robot. That does not break my fire team though, because he was not the fire team lead. Okay. Good job, Sombra. That's yeah. it. And you got uh, one order left. Yeah, and I will uh, keep my lieutenant order secret. Uh, oh no, you have one regular order left, don't you? Oh, or no, that was eight, wasn't it? That was it, yeah, that was eight. Okay. This one's just hanging out. And, and nobody else is gonna do anything. Yep, uh, yeah, because Hellcat is gonna that's up to you. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, up to you. Yeah, I mean, there's no orders to feed it, so you're yeah. right. All right, so I'm going to get in the tank, and we'll start turn two. Well, no one's dead, which is a miracle of miracles. So uh, I have eight orders this turn, so two, four, six, and then two more now. Two lieutenant orders, and still an irregular order on my war car, with which to try to get the remainder of boxes. There's a fire team, though, sitting on top of one of them. And that's a problem. Oh, no, I have seven orders, so I lost my HMG. Yeah, he's gone. It's one last order this time. Unconscious. For a robot. Very <laughs> unconscious. Very robot -y. <laughs> uh, We have to figure out what we want to do here. So... Powered down to safe mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I think we are going to start with this impersonation order. Uh, and we are going to go... And we are going to spend an entire lieutenant order and reveal ourselves to be an Asura. Okay. Uh, and that is going to allow us to place a white noise marker. Oh. Because we have a hacking device plus. Wholly inside our zone of control. Okay. So this is a, a smoke marker, basically, that... Um, only blocks visors. Okay. So guys with visors don't like this. Um, anyone within two of this marker, let's see, holy within eight, is going to have their no. Unfortunately, it also affects my Asura. Okay. Oh, do I want to do that this frame right now? You know what? I don't want to do that yet. Okay. I'm not, I, sure. Uh, no, I will. I will actually. Because it, it keeps me safe too. Okay. 
So I'll place it here because it means that this thing can't see me because it's yes. standing up. Yes. Now that you've revealed who your Sombra is, I'm pretty sure I know what the other one is. <laughs> It could um, be any. It could be any. <laughs> Pretty sure I know this. So I'm going to spend another order uh, to turn back into a smiley face. Mm -hmm. uh, now I also can't see through this right now, but this thing can see me. Mm -hmm. So I need to just wait and bide my time. It's, the evader just has eyeballs. He's just got regular eyeballs. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to go kill everyone. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm going to, I think, move the regular around this model and go six into my own white noise, which means that will be able to see me, but the evader will. Yeah. What would you like to do, evader? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and do a, a detect. Does an ARS camera check? Yeah. Okay. What about the two Uh They are also going to really think about it. Sweet. I'm just going to move two. Makes sense. Okay. So that's a, is that a whip? It is. All right. Just a whip zero if I didn't get with an eight. Okay. Uh, I did get with an eight, it looks like. Okay, so, so you're whip plus three. Evader, uh, so that would be 16 for him. Yeah, 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 yeah he recognizes, right. yeah. It's like, hey, that's not Phil. Jeez, who's that? <laughs> the important thing is I'm only fighting him now because I'm outside of range of the uh, Agnesis. Agnesis. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool. Uh, well then, and I can see you yep. past the line of that. Mm -hmm. So let's give another order to Asura. We're going to hop to here. Yep. Uh, AROs, Dr. Mr. The Evader. <laughs> uh, he will delay for now. I'm not a marker anymore, so you can oh, just do whatever you like. Oh, I could just shoot you. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, um, I believe I'm not in line of fire of this marker, but I might be. Check him. Uh, he can see from uh, chest up. Okay, so yeah. both of them could declare arrows if you want. Yeah, so I will declare arrows with both. Okay. Uh, the evader is going to uh, declare with the uh, anti-material mode on his multi-rifle. So two shots because you're in a fire team, which is cool. Yeah. And then this guy will reveal to be an intruder with a heavy machine gun. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to put all my shots into the evader. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, and that'll be it. So we'll do, you got two shots, you're 13, I'm in the open at the beginning. Yep. So you just hit me on plus threes. Yeah, because we're within 16 for sure. Yep, you got it. All right. I'm doing the same thing, except I'm hitting you on 17, so I'm yes 14. Okay. Uh, I think. Yeah. Somehow in 17. 16 versus 17. So you got it. 12 and 14. 12, cancels your 12, but your 14 beats the rest. Sure does. And that means I am going to be taking a double action roll. My yeah. armor is 5. Okay. Your damage is 13. Ooh. So yeah, I roll 9s. All right. 9s to save. 11 and 8, I take a wound. Okay. And she's got 2 on her? She's got 2 wounds and no wounded cow. Okay. And then you get a free shot from the HMG. Free shot from the HMG, and that's just going to be the one shot there. You got it. Uh, you are... Are you... Outside of 16, within 24. Looks like Inside of 16. 16. So, so zeros, zero. just in the open. So a 13 to hit. Yep. 18 16, doesn't hit. 16. 16. So. Well then, another order on her. Okay. Uh, now that we are in cover, we are just going to sit still and idle. Okay. ARO's. All right, yeah, so I'll try and shoot you with both the same things again. All right, so this time around, I'm going to put one into the HMG and yep. two into the evader. Okay. They're all going to be shock. Okay. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. the evader's going to be at minus three plus three now, so 13s. Yep. And I'll be on 17s again, because you're okay. still in the open. Sounds good. So eight, eight and ten. ten. Uh, 18 will miss. Yep. Uh, and then whatever that is. 17. Uh, it's a crit. Oh, dang, it is. Uh, so that's going to be two dice, okay. shock, damage 13. Okay. Uh, evader, luckily, is immune to shock. Okay, so you're fine. Okay, and armor three, so... So what one? Oh, uh, yeah, it's crit, so it's chance, yeah. Yep. So armor three means you need uh, 11. Okay. 14 and 8, so you take a wound. It goes through. Okay. okay. And then we're looking at... Both of us being in 16, so you'll be at... 
DPS uh, zero range, yep. minus three, so on a 10. Okay. I'll be on, um, you've got mimetism and cover. Yeah. But I ignore mimetism because I'm a level three visor. Okay. And I'm plus three for range, so okay. I'll be on a 14. Okay. 10, getting 12. 12. Okay. So I'll hit you with that one. And that's going to be one more damage 13, but you've got armor and cover together. Okay. Armor three. So, uh, so plus six. six total. Yep. So you need to roll um, damage 13, which means you get to roll eight. All right. Fourteen. Your courage. Uh, he does not. So whip is fourteen. Okay. Ten. So he's good. Yes, there we are. Yep. Okay. Well, the Asura's kind of beating their head against the wall here, uh, mm. and that means I think we're gonna switch over to the fire team for a second and fight some dudes. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the fire team and give them an order. Okay. We're going to give it to the diva functionary. Yep. She is going to walk over to this corner here, mm -hmm. but I'll be in the open when I hit it. So I'm going to be seeing you in that tower because you're so elevated. I slide over to here, it looks like. Never mind, I guess we'll just have a slide. Uh, uh, would he be able to see over the top of the stairs? No. Okay. Because yeah. the, if this railing is taller than right. he is over yeah, it, yeah, yeah. then he okay. needs to come to a higher point than that. Gotcha. All right, I was just wondering what the uh, hiding is for. Yeah, so where's your so what I give you? Oh, yeah, right here. You just, put, just switch it to where the stairs are? Yeah. Oh, so he can't see over he that. He can't see over that yet, no. And then he needed to be close enough to it that he could actually get the trick down. Oh, it's even an image of the same dude. Right? Exactly. <laughs> it's the handy, handy nomad one. Yeah. Um, so, I actually don't think I see you even if I'm there. So I think i got to keep moving. Okay. Uh, i got to come to this corner. So I moved two and one. So then second short skill, I'll just move four to there. Uh, and be at zeros. Uh, no arrows from the fire team or the Sombra. Okay. Uh, and then I'll have to give them another order. He's going to slide backwards actually in that order. Uh, the Diva hacker will slide there. And then, second order on them, I will come across to here. Just far enough to see the intruder, but before I see the evader. Gotcha. I can slice the pie on him first, it looks like. Because he's way up high. Like that? Uh, see me? You, you can see him. The evader? Oh, the evader. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Without seeing the intruder. Gotcha. Yeah, no, the, the intruder can't see you for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to see the evader. Okay. Um, the evader is not liking the fact that a fire team is looking at him, so he's going to dodge. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I have five dice on my Spitfire, but I'm at zero range, mm -hmm. plus one for four man pure team. Yep. So that's going to be plus one, then minus three for your cover. Okay. Uh, and then the Vader is physical 12. Okay, so you're only at 12 or less. Yep. I'm going to be shooting on 12s as well. Yep. 13s, and then minus three for cover, so 10s. Okay. And then uh, six. I got a six as well, and one seven. One seven. So I hit with all of them, but the seven is the only one that actually beat that six. Okay. So you're going to get to dodge four shots, but take one. Okay. Damage 14, armor okay. three plus cover of three. Gives you a six, get a roll nine. Okay. Come on, buddy. 18. He's good. And then you have courage. Uh, he. Oh, you did. Oh, is the intruder? Sombra, Vader. Uh, he does. What is yeah. happening here? Let's turn off. So he does have courage? He does. Okay. Um, so that means that we are on to another order. Oh. We've got two left. He was prone the whole time. <laughs> no, as long as it's your base, I can oh, see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, that sorry. would have mattered not at all for these engagements. Okay. Yeah, standing. Standing. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're ah, fine. Cool. Perfect. Uh, so then two inches back is a move because of dodge. Uh, you can make a dodge two inches in any direction. Yeah. So any, any direction you want. Yeah. So he's just going to back up two inches. Okay, I'm into that. Because that means he's now out of line of fire of the Asura. Yes. Who is going to take an order. And I will. And okay. Instead of your intruder. And the intruder's going to shoot back at you. Okay, well, I'm going to shoot you now. So you're going to shoot me. Yep. Uh, with your HMG, you get one shot. I will have three shots this time. Shock. 
Okay. Here we go. So BS. Uh, Actually, I want to use AP because I think you have more than armor one. I have armor three. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna use our AP as well. Okay. Uh, so I'm on fourteens. I ignore your mimetism. Yep. And I'm plus three for range because we already checked that sixteen. Mm -hmm. uh, minus three for cover. So I might be on fourteens. You'll be on tens because you're minus three for my cover and zero for range. Gotcha. Let's see what we got. Uh, uh, I got an eleven and a two. Okay. So it's gonna be two hits. All right. AP halves your armor to two, yep. and then plus three for cover is a five. Okay. Versus damage. Uh, damage thirteen. Okay. So you gotta roll. 11s and 20s, we'll both do it. Yeah, we'll definitely well. a courage test. Okay. Uh, whip 14. Yep, whip 14. Okay. 8 to Takes five. it. Yeah. You guys are unbreakable. <laughs> All right, well, my last order, we'll give it to the Asura again. Yep. Uh, I will idle for my first short skill. Let's uh, keep shooting at each other. Right, that feels like the right move. <laughs> Let's go again. A 10. A 1 will do it. Uh, a 16, 20, and 19 will all miss. <laughs> so I'm going to an armor roll. Uh, 18 and pass, All right. and I will stand there, I believe, with courage, and not fall down, because I don't want to fall down. Come on, Asura, uh, you are... no courage? Oh shit. Oh, she has a courage, so yeah, she does. Okay. Ha yeah, hacker, immunity shock, no wounded cap, uh, yeah. and courage. Okay. And I've got one command token to spend to convert this irregular order into a regular order. <laughs> I'm going to give it to the fire team. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I am going to move my Spitfire to this corner. Yep. Can I see the uh, intruder from there? No, the building's perfectly lined up. Perfectly lined up? It. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, can I see the evader? Next question. I think I can. I think your face is stuck in the phone. Nope, I don't no. think I can. Okay. You move back far enough, I can't see you at all. And so that is now pointless. So I'm in there. I'm going to move the sniper back to this corner so I can see. Yep. I'm going to move the hacker to this corner to see. I'm going to go prone with the paramedic. And that's going to be that. That's my turn. Okay. Not the best turn for me, but you we both managed to hang on to our orders here. I'm wounded on my Asura, which is not great. Yep. And I blew through most of my work while trying to shift the evader and the, uh, what I should have done, and I thought of it, yep. is I should have moved to here, oh, yeah. then put the, um, put the, uh, oh, the, the white noise, white noise there so that, yeah. that so, they wouldn't see me. Yeah, yeah. And then just shot him by himself. Yeah. But you live, you laugh, you love. <laughs> it's going to be it. Your turn too, sir. Okay. Uh, so, again, miracle of miracles. I haven't actually lost anybody yet. Nope. So it's back to eight orders plus the ten. You got it. Okay. Uh, he's been shot a bunch. Can uh, people hand off um, tokens? You can hand us over. Yeah, you can, you can hand us somebody else. Okay. Okay. That's a skill, sir. That's a short skill. That's a short skill. Yeah. yeah. So getting in the tank. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start off with... I'm going to give an order to the evader, but uh, not as fire team leader. Okay. And he is going to uh, first short skill. He's not going to actually move anywhere. He's just going to stand up, so he's no longer prone. Got it. And he's going to uh, give the box to uh, the aguasil behind him. You can move and then do that. So they could all move, and then as long as he st at some point was in base to base with so that guy, they could hand that off to each other. So you can still get a short move out of it for those guys. If you want anybody to make a short move. Oh, yeah, and then oh, and then I could break fire team afterwards? Or you could just walk off at the and start just, and, and just then... <laughs> because you start in base contact with right. him, you can drop it off with him, right? Okay. Remember, you, you count as being in the spaces that you hold for the entirety of the order. Right. It's all simultaneous. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so he's going to stand... So, he's going to do that. And he's going to... Remember, if you come forward any more, the diva and the mm -hmm. Asura will see you. Yeah. So I'm going to spend an order on the fire team with the Agasil as Blue Hair as fire team leader. Okay. Um, and everyone's just going to use the uh, a short move. So the Agasil is just going to duck into this building. As a simultaneous thing, the evader is going to give her... Yep, she'll moves. end up with it at the end of the turn. Yeah. 
they start in base contact with each other, so at the end of the turn it just transfers to her as long as yeah. they basically, he's the, the guy doing the short skill. Because yeah. he's the one handing it off. Okay. Uh, the evader is going to use his short uh, move to just stand up from being prone. But Sounds good. But not going to go anywhere. Okay. Uh, this guy is going to... The evader follow. still has to be the team lead because he's oh. the one making the attack action to hand it off. Oh, okay. Because it's an attack it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, It has the attack label, which means you gotcha. can see something and touch it. Right. I think with the attack label, it's basically if you're interacting with something. So, like, gotcha. um, if you're blinded or stunned, you couldn't extract these boxes, for instance, because that right. action has the attack label, because gotcha. it requires you to be able to see and touch. Right. Okay, that makes sense. And this guy is going to follow her into the building. Okay. Staying there. And uh, he is going to drop prone and go up to the top of the stairs. So I have a question. Was your Asombra a hacker? Uh, she is. She should have been hacking my Asura the entire, the entire time. time. <laughs> yeah, no. she has an out of line of fire attack that could have been hacking my Asura this whole time. Oh, now, yeah, she has Oblivion. The vice versa, I could do it back to you, right? which is also worth noting, but you'd yeah. be getting free HMG shots then. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Just uh, FYI, we both yeah. forgot that. <laughs> um, and then... Yeah, so there, that fire team order is done. Yep. Uh, this Aguasil in here has the box. He's at prone at the top. Vader's there. And uh, second order. Uh, honestly, that uh, Oblivion move sounds pretty cool. So okay. Let's try that. So idling for your first skill. Idling for the first skill. Okay. And I'm I'm going to Trinity you. Okay. With my hacker. Ah, uh, yeah, my no, because you're pretty tough. I'm going to Oblivion you back, actually. Okay. Because my, uh, whichever one goes off first, we're basically breaking the other person's hacking device. Right. Which is fairly important. And I, you also put me in loss of lieutenant if you do it to me. Oh. So that's kind of a huge deal. Yeah. So I'm going to Oblivion you back. I am whip 15. Okay. Uh, Sombra is whip 13. Okay. So it's face to face. Uh, when you are doing it in active, you're burst two. Okay. And I'm burst one. All right. So 15 to your 13, you get a crit and a 14. I got a hit, but no crit. And that means you will uh, double action damage 16 me. Okay. Now I am fairly good at the BTSing uh, and Asura is BTS six. And that means that the Oblivion's damage of 16. AP, okay. uh, it takes me to a three. I need 14s to beat this twice. I got an eight and a three. I am super oblivion, which means I am also going to be potentially in loss of lieutenant. Okay. I am isolated. All right, so that was an order. Yep. I'm also no longer a hacker because my hacking device is turned off. Okay. That's when the Sombra looks directly at the camera and says, I'm in. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I'm it's in. a problem for me for next turn, for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm still alive, though. I'm still, still standing alive. there. I got a gun. All the, all the angry, I'm just a solo piece it's still yeah. applies. The problem is going to be that the rest of the army becomes a regular next turn. Yes. Uh, I'm going to drop an order on the invader. Okay. Who is going to uh, back up. A couple of inches. Get outside of 16. Get outside of 16. And then he's going to blast. A tr uh, blast I'll away. shoot you back double action. Okay. So I'll be on a 14, plus 3 for now, minus 3 for cover, ignoring your mimetism. So I'll be on a 14 again. Okay. And I'll be plus 3 for range now. Yeah, but still minus 3 for cover. So you're on minus a 13. But 4 four. dice. Yeah. 4 dice on 13s to my 1 dice on a 14. Okay. One cut. A crit. Okay, uh, I did not. So. All right, bad news bears. So I got a 14. That means two dice. Damage 13, AP again. So you're going to be on armor. Two goes to five. You need nines. Oh, save one, a take the other. Three will put you down unconscious. Okay. She's mad. You turned off her hacking device. She's like, <laughs> it's my, it's my iPhone. You. you broke my iPhone. I just got this. <laughs> Man. It wasn't even in a case. I, I knew I should have gotten a case. I can't return this. What are you talking about? You know how long the lines are at the Apple store in the 31st millennium? Uh, all right, so you are down a intruder, but you are up an evader, and there's still one box to grab. There is. All right. But you got to get by a diva and a Dakini sniper first. I do. So I'm going to start with uh, 
dropping an order on this prone Sombra. Okay. Who is going to crawl down these stairs as her first short. And because she's just base, she wouldn't be able to see over the stair railing, would she? No, I won't be able to see her just yet because you're only the height of your base. And you're no longer a hacker, so can't do anything like now, that. Now, the difference is going to be I am tall still because I'm standing up, so I can see the back half of this. Right. So when you come down here, I will be able to see you okay. because of where I am. Yeah, because like my, my question is can she shoot at her when sure. she comes Sure, of course she can, yep. Yeah, she's going to do that then. Okay. So you're moving up to there? Yep. I'm going to shoot you with a nano pulsar. Okay. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I think uh, this probably makes more sense to do the multi rifle with shock. Go for it. All right, cool. Uh, I'm shock immune. You're shock immune? Yeah, AP would be better because I'm armor five. Okay, yeah, that, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> AP then. So this is unopposed because I'm yeah. just blasting you with a template because yeah. I'm hitting you with a nano pulsar. Uh, so you are getting plus three for range, minus three for cover. So whatever yeah. your BS is, just okay. your pure BS. That's going to be 12. 12 it is. Okay. Two hits. Two All right. Uh, my armor of five goes to a three because it's AP. I got to roll 11s. Yeah. Sorry, armor goes a five to three plus cover to six, mm -hmm. which means I need to roll against 13. I need to roll eights twice. Okay. I got a five and an 18. I am on no wound incapacitation. I have one fake wound left, but I'm okay. still standing. Yeah. And you get hit by a template okay. that is a, against your BTS. All right. And because the template it ignores cover, Okay, uh, BTS is six. So six BTS is pretty good. You got to roll and beat a seven, so an eight plus. Okay. You good? Uh, and she has courage? She, uh, she doesn't. All right, it'll be another courage check. Okay, uh, whip 13. Uh, nine. She's, She's good. good. She's laughing. Yeah. All right, and how many how many wounds does she have? Just the one no wounding cap left. That's oh, it. <laughs> She's, ba she's effectively three when she, her, she ignores the unconscious state. Right. So technically she's unconscious right now, but right. she ignores the null part of it because she just... Like the evader. Like the evader okay. is just holding herself together with sheer will <laughs> yeah. at this point. All right, I'll drop a third order on that Sombra. Who's okay. Keep crawling down the stairs and shooting at you as she goes. Go get him. And let's uh, do that all over again. Well, now I'm going to shoot you because I need to face to face this. Yeah. I'm going to double action it. Okay. Uh, I have, because I was really hoping that template would take you down, but it didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot you at a 14 plus three for range, minus three for cover. So it's just my base BS, same yep. as you. And I got three dice on 12s. On 12s. Uh, 10 to three. A nine will beat the three, but I'll get hit by the 10. Okay. So again, I got to roll an eight. Mm -hmm. 20 will do it. 20 will do I it. I got courage, so I'm just going to stand there. Okay. Uh. Not in base to base, so I can't pick up the box yet, but I don't really want to because she's standing there and she looks dangerous. Well, I mean, <laughs> you can move out to it. I could. You could move out to it, theoretically. Uh, I do think if you stand up, the diva will see you. Yeah. Now you could also plunging fire the crap out of these guys with him. A lot yes. of guys will see them. Yeah. But there is the burst fourness of it all. Yeah, that's that's something I was thinking is the other. Option. The problem will be you'll need to crawl back first, probably not to see all of them. Yeah. And they do have six sense, so even if they're not in line of fire view, they can shoot back with no penalties. Yeah. Because they're if they're a four man team right now. Yeah. It would be a gambit for your final half of your final turn <laughs> to make me drop that box. Yeah. I think uh, because I'm kind of curious about the mechanics of it, and I'm going to see I wanna see how it works, I think I might want to spend an order to drop in uh, my combat drop. Go for it. Okay, so I'm going to spend an order on this here Hellcat. Okay, you could just walk in without even having to roll dice right there if you yeah, wanted to. Sure. I can't see it at all. So she's going to walk on right here. So just staying outside the line of fire of everybody. That should be safe, it looks like, yep. Okay. And then uh, that's a full order. If you wanted to go somewhere else, you could. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to go there, but yeah. not having to roll dice is always <laughs> better than having to roll dice in this game. Yeah. I was, uh, was going to ask you how ballsy it would be to try and drop right here. <laughs> not that ballsy, but I mean, you could also walk in over here and come try and grab this objective. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot me from outside a line of fire. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of other options there. I'm not a hacker anymore. Yeah. So you could walk over and just hack me without any thing. Like all I could do is reset. Mm -hmm. My resets are all messed up because I'm isolated. <laughs> and all kinds of choices. All kinds. And I can't ARO. I could ARO dodge if you ride inside my zone of control, right. but I can't do anything else. Yeah. I think for, yeah, I'm not feeling super confident about getting past uh, four people with big guns. 
Okay. And so I think I'm going to try and actually walk on over here and try and just grab the second ejector. Go for it. So, uh, yeah, she's going to show up right there. Okay. Uh, I can try and dodge. Because yeah. you're inside my zone of control, you don't have stealth, which I will. On Fizz, good. Uh, that will not work because it's minus three because you're outside the line of fire. Okay. That's a 14. And then uh, spend a, another order on her. So it doesn't cost you anything to show up, remember? Oh, it doesn't cost you anything. It's to free. Show up. You're using your own order to show up. Oh, great. So now you spend another order to do something if you want. Mm -hmm. And you could walk over my back art. Now, because you're inside zone of control, I could dodge, yep. which will face to face it, but I won't get any um, any shots back, basically, because I don't have six cents. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to spend an order on her, and she's going to walk out to be able to. Just hug the, hug the edge and shoot me? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll dodge yep. uh, at minus three. So it's my fizz minus three because you're inside my zone. Of, well, sorry, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll dodge because you're inside my zone of control because yep. you don't have stealth. Yes. And yeah, uh, she's got a commie rifle, so it's just uh, going to be plus three for the range. Okay. And so fizz plus three minus three for a cover. Yep. So uh, blister six twelve. So I'm fizz fourteen minus three because of uh, being in a line of fire. Okay. So I'm at an eleven. Yep. I got a four. Uh, I got a six, which means I'd successfully dodge. Okay. And I'm going to just pivot. So that I can see everybody now. <laughs> and be like, well, well, I didn't like getting shot in the back. You want to try that again? <laughs> I got I got something for you. Yeah. Uh, I think... Actually, what I might do is I might actually dodge back slightly. Yeah, fair. Like, meow. Mm. And be able to see your evader as well. Mm. In that case, because I just find the narrative of it kind of funny... Uh, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna spend uh, my last order on the evader to uh, Panzerfuster. <laughs> Do it! I dare you! <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you back with a double action right yeah, Just uh, shoot yeah. me with a disposable <laughs> DEP. I'm into um, it. Well, actually, I guess uh, he's still within range. Yep. So I could spend the last order on the entire fire team. Um, yeah, he never left the fire team. Yeah, never left the fire team. He, he didn't end up doing it. So uh, that would increase the burst. Without increase the burst of that, by yep. One? But it's disposable. So what happens is you empty the whole thing at me. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. <laughs> so you just you, you double tap me with it. <laughs> I shoot you out. So you'll be plus three minus three, I believe, because I think it's at I think it's plus three. Maybe outside sixteen though. Yeah, out, outside of sixteen. So I think you're at zero. So I'm at zero. So you're on tens. Yep. Because you're I'm in cover. Yep. And then I'll be plus three. Someone seventeen with one dice. Okay. Come on, high dice. Six or four. I got a 15. <laughs> so I hit you double action. All right. Damage 13. All right. Your armor three. So you got to roll 11s twice. Okay. Uh, oh, you, sir, okay. are extra dead. Right. And that will break the fire team because he was the team lead. Was. Now you can reform the fire team at any time with a command token if you want okay. to. Uh, yeah, so I will spend the command token there. Okay. And I'll put the fire team leader on the uh, blue hair with the box. Smart. All right. Any orders left? Uh, I have... Lieutenant. Okay. Um, and that's it. I guess uh, I'll spend the lieutenant, and it's Dante. <laughs> yeah, not, not surprised. <laughs> yep. To no one's surprise. To no one's surprise. He's gonna go he's crawl in a tower where he's safe. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gonna Cr crawl in a tower is the right move at this yeah. point because there'll be no way I can get to you, especially in my last turn being in lost lieutenant. Yeah. So he's gonna climb up for up to there, and then continue going up the stairs and drop prone. Okay. All right, well, I have a problem, and my primary problem is that my person striking distance of that, um, of that uh, last objective is isolated. Which means, and they're no longer a specialist because they, they lost their hacking device. So I gotta kill everyone over there to either tie this or try and get some classifieds. <laughs> uh, classifieds could swing this for me potentially. Um, so I think I'm going to start with, uh, it's so rough. I'm going to start with the Asura, uh, using their own irregular order. Everyone's irregular this turn because no one's a veteran. Right. Um, and she's isolated. So she only gets to do one thing this turn. She okay. can't get any more orders from the order pool. This is all she gets to do. Everything. Um, she is going to idle. And stare at that Sombra. Okay, and the Sombra is going to stare back with a gun. Uh, I am going to shoot the Sombra with... Is she no wound in cap or just... Uh, she is no wound in cap. Is she shock immune? Uh, she is. Okay, yes. I'm going to uh, just really shoot her with AP rounds, I Makes guess, sense. and hope this works. R3. 
Okay, I am plus three for range, minus three for cover. So I'm gonna be hitting you on uh, 17s, go back down to 14s. Okay, and then much the same, hitting you on 10s. Okay. Or, uh, well, 20's not gonna do it either way. Well, the 15 will miss, but the three and the 10 will hit. So that's AP, so your armor goes down to half. Yep, so. Plus three for cover. All right, so plus five total. Okay. Uh, so you need to roll nine, no, eights, nines, nines. Yep. Mine's is a 14. All right, takes one. Okay, and goes to no winning gap. Okay. Well, we got part of the way there. That's what we needed. <laughs> All right. Um, so the issue is I have three command tokens remaining, uh, and I'm going to use them to convert one, I guess, two for the sniper, and three for the paramedic as regular orders. Okay. So that's going to give me a grand total of three regular orders I could use. Actually, sorry, I'll do the Flashbot, the Probot, and, the, and these three guys. So the fire team, basically everyone except for, everyone there still has their irregular order. But these right. three guys I'm going to convert into regular orders. Because okay. it means I can actually start moving around the table. <laughs> Slightly. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start with my D.Va. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they're in a fire team still. Yep. So they're going to go four uh, out to here just to see that Hellcat. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to come in behind. I'm going to go four this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go two, four, six to keep up with the paramedic. Okay. Actually, the paramedic's going to go. Nope, that's fine. I'm going to go that way. Okay. Uh, Arrows. I. She's got a fancy gun, doesn't she? She has a Spitfire. Burst right. 5 Spitfire right uh, now. Hellcat's going to dodge. Probably wise. Yeah. Uh, so I have a uh, plus 3 to hit, yep. plus 1 for being in a core fire team still. Okay. Um, and then uh, you are... Fizz 12. Fizz 12. So I'm going to be on 12, plus 3, minus 3, because you're not in the mimetism, but I have MSV if you do. Yep. 10. 10. I need 11 or 12. I got an 11. Ah. So I got you once. Okay. Uh, damage 14 against armor, plus 3 for cover. Okay, uh, armor 2, so plus 5. Damage right. 13, you said? Damage 15, 14. Okay. 5 won't do it, so you're unconscious. Okay. There she goes. All right, the Sombra is hurting, but not dead, yes. which is a problem, because uh, I need you to be dead dead. So we're going to go again with them. We're going to make this diva the fire team lead this time. Because everyone's still in coherency. We're going to, now you could be dodging these guys to stand up if you wanted to, just so you know, because you're inside yeah, zone of control. Inside zone of control. Um, I'm going to walk out four to see this Sombra in yep. the open. Mm -hmm. I'm going to oh, uh, walk out. Is that the prone still? Because uh, I'm standing oh, okay. and I can, can see, see the edge of your base. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm taller than this lip is, so I can see right. the back of your base. Okay. I'm going to go six to there. And hold the box. I'm going to go four. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. And I'm going to go six. Mm -hmm. Arrows. Uh, both these guys are going to use dodge to stand up. Okay, so it's minus three if they try. Yep. Uh, and then what's she going to do? Uh, Samra is going to arrow shoot at that guy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot you with a combi rifle. Okay. That's all I got. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's not a multi-rifle. It'd be pretty sweet if it was, but it I don't would. think it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure the D.Va has a... Just a combi rifle. Yeah. I'm going to use uh, empty material to shoot you. All right, so one shot. Uh, you'll be just plus three because I got no momentum or anything like that. Okay. I'll be plus three, minus three, but then plus one again because I'm in the core team still. Okay. Uh, and that means I will be on 13s with four dice. I got one dice on 15. You got it. 17, you can do it. Uh-oh. Uh, well, two 20s and a 16 won't, but an 11 <laughs> will. There you go. So take one round at damage 13 again. Okay, uh, so plus five for the armor two and cover. Okay. Uh, 19 will do it. And do you have courage? Yes. Uh, she does, yeah. I believe so, yeah. All right, last regular order before we start to get desperate. Uh, actually, no, she doesn't. Oh, then it's a whip check. 13, she's good. You're good. Uh, we are going to come forward again. Going four. Uh, we are going to 
stay here. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, we'll stay here with that diva. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to do the physical roll. Oh, yeah, make your fizz checks for them. Uh, yeah. So fizz is 11 on the Agasos, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then minus three because you're doing Ten, stuff. Uh, so yeah, you're doing so sevens because that's a line of fire. All right, so red hair. So that one. Seven. He Ten, no. Nope. And then... And then white and Dante on the bottom there. Uh, Eleven, no. Okay. Yeah, they need to work out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're not taking their uh, whatever the that was like green energy. My, my green energy shakes. <laughs> what podcast am I? Just, it's something like green. The green juice. The green juice. That's right. <laughs> How do I get that sponsorship? Yeah. Um, and then my sniper is going to come to this corner. Mm -hmm. uh, this diva is going to go four around and behind. Arrows. Eight when they uh, the two of them would have been, yeah. Okay, so, so he'll be able to, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, no, he'd be able to as well. Okay, They'd cool. both be able to make dodges. Right, try it again. Uh, seven for red hair. Fails. And seven for white hair. Still fails. And the Sombra, I assume, is fighting me? Still? Him. Okay, yeah. All right. Anti-material again. Uh, still day. just a combi rifle, so it'll be on my same 13s to your 12s. 15s. Uh, 15, yeah. yeah. A two. Two. Uh, a nine, a nine, and a 15 will miss. Okay. So the one will fail, but you'll take two hits. Yep. Damage 13, armor five again, so you need to roll nines. Uh, six will not six. do it. Yeah, so she's done. She's unconscious, okay. Uh, no, she's only got the one wound, so she's just dead. Oh, that's right, because she's, she's, she's on new wound income. That's right, yep. that's right, that's right. Okay, uh, so this is now, I have no regular orders left. Um, and the fire team's gonna break as soon as somebody does something yeah. um, with an irregular order. Now, what's cool is because I'm number two, uh, when the fire team breaks, I believe it drops to the person with number two. Yep. I'm not sure if that happens when they use an irregular order. I'm pretty sure it does. Because mm -hmm. he's currently the fire team leader. Yeah. So if he does something that would drop him out, I think it drops to her because she's also a number two. Gotcha. But I've never had, I've never encountered this before, so I'm gonna double check it. It might, if, if, they, if they die, um, the leader of the fire team enters the isolated or any null state. So I'm not null or isolated, which no. means that it will not drop to number two, which means I won't keep my fire team, but I don't win if I don't play. So <laughs> we're gonna try for this. I'm going to take his irregular, because all four of these have their irregular orders still. Yep. I'm going to walk to the edge of this. That's going to break the fire team completely. Yep. And this is his irregular order. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to attempt to extract that thing. Okay. Let's see if we can. So uh, he is whip, I believe, 13. Post human that he is. And divas are whip 15. Oh my god. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, it's because they're, the, they're part of the AI. That makes sense. <laughs> so do I extract this box? Nope. I roll an 18, and I don't, <laughs> so I fail that one. Yep. No one else here is a specialist, except for her, but she's not right now, and yep. she's also used her regular order. Yep. So I can no longer get this thing. Mm. Um, so the best I can do now is start spending irregular orders to go on suppression to try and defend this spot. Okay. I'm going to spend my irregular to go on suppression here. Yep. I'm going to spend my irregular to go on suppression here. And that ends my turn. Okay. I cannot get to yours, and I did not extract that one. No. But currently, I we each are tied for one. Yes. And was there anything else I could do there? I don't think so. I don't think I had any other choices. Mm. Oh, I could have done that instead. No one was in range to do that one. Okay, yeah. That's all I can do. Uh, you know what? No, I could do one more thing. Yeah. Instead of... Nope, I can't stop that either. There's nothing right. I can do there. Nope, right. you're fine. Go on, you, okay. your thing. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, there's a lot of unconscious people. There are. So, okay, so we got... Uh, so now the question is, at this point, are you in retreat? Do you have less than 50 points worth of models conscious on the table? I think you have more because Jazz and Billy plus two Agua Seals uh, should be more than... Or three Agua Seals should be more than 50. Yeah, uh, all together they're 55. So you're not in retreat. No. Uh, but I, much like yourself, I'm not sure I can actually get anything. Because like, I would have to get all the way to there with Billy. If you can somehow kill this one yeah. is the trick here, right? Yeah. Do you have any way of killing that model? 
Is there a limit? What are your classifieds is also the way to break the tie right now. The classifieds Can, are something that is either out so, of range that I could get there. <laughs> okay, because my HVT is here yep. and yours is there. So remember, you can always secure the HVT. Right now, you are securing my HVT. If you can kill all the models within eight of yours, right. you'd be able to secure mine. Yep. I don't think that's possible because right now I'm on yours, but you're also on mine, which is keeping it from me being able to do it as well. Right. And the other two are not really possible for you right now? No. Okay. But uh, what I can do is I can try to use my fire team to try and kill these two to get you out of the, uh, the HVT. I think you'd have to kill these two as well. Yeah, are they also with an eight? Yeah, well, we can't check. Oh, right. We're not able to, you have to eyeball it, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I mean, got nothing else going on. <laughs> That's fair, you <laughs> just can't lose right? your box because this yeah. is bottom of three. You've got three, four, five orders. Your other option is you could try and Trinity my hackers to death. Because mm. both of these are hackable. Yep. Uh, which would mean you could kill them with Jazz. Yeah. So if you ran Billy over there as a repeater, Jazz doesn't even have to move. Billy goes 10 per order. Because he's 6'4", because he's a remote. Yep. So he could run over there into zone of control and you could brain burst those guys. I could try that, yeah. Uh, so you can't brain burst the Asura anymore because she's no longer a hacker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you could kill. But you could kill the uh, the diva that way. Yeah. That would be fifty inches trying. Oh, sorry, he's not a hacker. My bad. He's uh, he's a sensor triangulated fire guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not able to. Be. I mean, you could isolate him, but you can't kill him that way. Right. He's not actually. I, it's the hacker okay. model, but I forgot he was my sure. sensor guy. All right. So I'm gonna just try and plunging fire a bunch of people. Okay, go for it. All right. So I'm gonna spend. Uh, so I got five orders. Put them up here. There they are. Smart. Uh, so I'm going to uh, spend the first one. I'm going to make a fire team lead is going to be a guy with the red hair, so he can actually shoot something. Smart. And his first thing is he's going to stand up and run over to this corner here. As I'm you do. Go. Okay. Uh, Dante is going to follow up behind him. Uh, he is also going to stand up. Remember, he can't fire. Only no. the only, only the leader fire. can fire, right? Yeah. So you don't necessarily need to send all of them at once. Gotcha. Just the one who's going to be shooting someone, and right. just so they can see the person they want us to shoot at, right? Gotcha. So if you're standing here, mm -hmm. you can see the back of this guy's base and my Asura, okay. and not have to deal with him yet, probably. Right. Because you can slice the pie on the further thing until you get to the close right. thing. Okay. Yeah. So I'll start with the Asura. And if you really want to get you, you just kill him, but it won't do you he much. Won't do much. <laughs> no, he can't. He, all he can do is dodge. That's right. all he can do. He doesn't have a gun. Uh, to kind of set him up for the future, he will then just kind of crawl up the stairs. In case you need a second guy, got it. So you're just shooting the Asura right now, yep. who's on no wounding count. We'll just shoot back with a DA round. Okay. And I, I mean, you haven't declared that yet, but I assume that's what you're coming to yeah, do because you've, you've come, you've come to see me. Yes. Yep. Uh, are you within 16? Probably. Yeah, you are actually. Perfect. So plus three for the range on that, but then minus three for cover. Uh, so first three, first plus one for the fire team. Sounds good. And uh, plus three, minus three for that, so on 11s. And I'm on 14s, plus three, minus three for range. Uh, got a, a single a 10. 10, but you beat my seven. There we go. So she's making another armor roll on armor eight against 13. She's got to roll six. A 19 will do it. Will do it. And she's on courage. So four orders remain. Yep, so let's uh, try that again. And she's, she's got more bullets for you, another <laughs> double action round. So you're gonna idle. Yep. I will then declare an ARO to shoot you with a double action round with my multi-rifle, and then you will do whatever you wanna do. Yep. Combi rifle, fire attack. You got it, okay. So That's same good. rolls as before, yep. 11s to 14s. Five, four, six, five, four, 20. Oh man. 13's gonna hit. Ah. So it's a double action okay. round. Yep. Uh, armor one on him. So it goes to cover. three to cover, so four. So you got a beat a 13, you need to roll tens. Okay. Uh, nine won't do it, it'll take nope. it and he'll, he'll go take a round and go unconscious, yep. And that will okay. break the fire team. Yep. Um, guess, and yeah. you will no longer have enough models available to make a Harris, so it doesn't matter if you reform it or not at this right. point. Okay. Uh, so yeah, then uh, I'll go ahead and throw an order on Dante. <laughs> sure, go for it. If it's the last turn, you could just use your lieutenant order. Because oh, yeah, you don't care. Like at this point, if he dies, it doesn't matter because there's no turn after this. So going yeah, to lost yeah. lieutenant's irrelevant. <laughs> a turn three fighting lieutenant is actually kind of a cool idea. Yeah. Because you just go ham at this point and be like, whatever. <laughs> I don't do care it. if I die. All right, so he's going to walk up to the top and see yeah. the Asura. Yep. 
So anyway, I started blasting. But anyways, same thing. He's literally exact same dude. Fourteens to elevens. I got crit. crit. You got double crit. Double crit. <gasps> four armor rolls. Woo. All right, I got to roll sixes four That's times. Why he's That's why he's the boss. <laughs> a two and a six will kill my Asura. Woo. Good job, Lieutenant Dan. You did it. He's literally Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Tay. <laughs> He's got robot legs. Dude. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's all tied to the mast of the ship, screaming at God. That's my favorite scene in that whole movie. <laughs> all right, well, you took care of the Asura. Right. Um, let's uh, keep on keeping on. Jam. Yeah. Well, all right, so my sensor triangulated fire guy so, yeah, he's just is the next up. one you want to see. Yep. All right, then you want to probably stay back around like where your orders are. Right. So that you come to this side, which means you won't gotcha. be able to see right. him. I'll just take these out of the tower then. Yeah, that's fine. Just thinking of where you want to be that you yeah, don't yeah. that you don't see him because yeah. the angle of the building. Uh, so same as except I'm in the open now. Yeah. So you're gonna have plus three, yeah, so fourteens, 14. and I'll be twelve. Okay. I'm not in a fire team. I'm one shot. Right. So I'm just gonna be on a twelve plus three minus three is a twelve. Let's see how I do. Thirteen. Uh, 13. Uh, and you hit with the fifteens of crit, isn't it? No, it's oh, a fourteens of crit. Yeah, fourteens of crit. All right. So you got me once Oops. with the thirteen. Uh, and I gotta make an armor, I think it's one. Oh, and this. whatever that is. 19's good. He's good, all right. Uh, I think I have courage, but I'm gonna choose to fail. Okay. So I can walk back here and be like, now I'm in cover. <laughs> Stand on the asserted corpse. All right, second to last order. Let's keep it going. Okay, just, just stay where you are. Again. Sure, yeah, yeah. So uh, now you're on your you 11s. Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. No, if the asserted was in 16, oh, yeah, you're in 16 too. So back to 11s. Yep, and I'm back to 12s. Okay, I got a 2. I got a 15, and I missed, okay, so you hit me. Uh, I am armor 3 won't do it, but I have no wound in cap, so I oh, take geez. a wound. <laughs> uh, and I will just stay where I am. All right, last order of the game. Let's do it. He's going to move out. He's just going to stay there, and he's going to keep shooting. So anyways. <laughs> just blast it. <laughs> Lieutenant Dante is getting work done. 5-5-4 five, five, oh, will all hit. Four. I'm on a 12, 13 oh. misses. I'm not in that fire game. I would have been a crit if I was still on the fire team. Yep. Uh, so that's three hits. And three 16 and 15 will pass through, will fail, and he dies. He dies. You knocked him off the objective. And that's, it. And that's and all I the just orders. Have to hope and pray that the last guy's outside of eight. All right. <laughs> so uh, if the sniper's outside of eight, you will probably have secured my HVT. Um, so I am unfortunately inside of eight. eight. Uh, I am also in because I'm inside of eight of yours. I'm securing it, but you are both on top of um, mine over here, yep. which means you're securing as well. So we both get two points for having boxes. Yep. Uh, we don't get any points for you having less <laughs> or none. Yeah. Um, and neither of us got any classified, so it's two yeah. two at the end of the game. Good game, man. Tie game. Good game, dude. <laughs> and there you go. Two hundred points. Two hundred points is an interesting game size because you don't have a lot of choices. No. and you're making do with less resources. I regret my Asura immensely, because I could have had two medium hitting pieces to yeah. do what she failed to do the entire game. <laughs> if I'd probably taken Dart and Andromeda, they would have added up to her point value and gotten twice as much work done yeah. over the course of the game. As soon as that token was cleared, I should have had Billy just parkouring across the table to try to make use of Absolutely. The QAZ creatures didn't feel, s they felt like they just eight orders. Yeah. If I'm honest, they didn't yeah. seem like they added a huge amount to the game. They were more like a tax that we had to spend in order to clear before we could move up to the middle. Yeah. But they do add, I guess, a little something defensive, and on different tables it might have had more of an impact, I guess. It forces a cautious approach. That's right, yeah. It slows you down slightly into your approach into the table. Yeah. Other than that, it was just good old supplies, and it was cool to be on the other side of Corregidor and not see a McMurrow, who you need to buy next. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Your 300 points needs to be a McMurrow, yeah. um, and then some remotes, I think, because yes. that will extend the hacking threat range of Billy. Yep. Um, if you can drop, uh, sorry, Jazz, rather, if you can drop Billy, you can put her in a fire team, too, and that evader slash uh, Aguaseal fire team can start to move up. Yeah. But some smoke to support your uh, intruder HMG, yep. some remotes, a McMurrow, mm, what are the other, oh, it's Morans. Yeah. And Morans. Those would be, if those three purchases will take you to 300 nicely and you will have a classic, uh, I would say like rum and coke list of beautiful, wonderful Craigador. But great start, man. Thank you. What a great game. And thanks for coming down to play your second ever game of Infinity. Absolutely, thank you for having Same. me. <laughs>